In this past 12 months, I've spent a huge amount of time testing clubs at the longer end of the bag, trying to find out if I can find some easier solutions for average golfers than what we're sort of familiar with. And I've tried all kinds in that pursuit, high woods, driving hybrids, hybrids themselves, fairway woods, all trying to find solutions at that long end of the bag. And in all honesty, it's played major changes in my own personal setup. After many months of deliberation and swapping to and fro between several clubs in that long end of the bag, one club is about to make way for another. The question is, of course, which club is coming out of the bag, which club is going in the bag, and more importantly, what are the reasons for it? Now that is a four iron. It's a DHY four iron, and it travels about 200 yards. And that is a seven wood and it travels about 200 yards. And that is a three hybrid, and guess what? It goes about 200 yards. And finally, a nine wood. And yet, you guessed it, it goes about 200 yards. Now the first biggest shock is we've got four balls that are, well, they're almost in the fair. We've got one just in the rough there, that first cut. But what you'll notice is, I'm surrounded by four balls that, well, they don't differ that greatly. And where they finish will largely be due to sort of what bounce they got and what kind of spin was on each of those balls. So we've got a spread of four different shots, all arrived in a very similar position on the fairway, all played with different clubs. So the question is, which one and why am I dropping from the bag? And how many am I dropping from the bag? Now this video started off as being a comparison between a seven wood I've got in the bag and a nine wood that I've been carrying in the bag and switching between the two. And as soon as I started collecting data, I realized there was a bit of an issue because of its similarities. And then I threw in the other clubs that I mentioned, a hybrid, a DHY. And again, I seen the complications getting so much more complex in terms of what the original video was supposed to be about that I realized I had too many clubs in the bag they were carrying the same distance, and I've narrowed that down to one. Yeah. My God, the ball fight out of this thing is just ridiculous, you know? And you know what? That was a push shot out to the right-hand side a little bit, not the greatest of swings, and I did say there the ball flight was ridiculous, and one of the reasons why this has been the club that I've chose instead of the ones I've pushed to one side for the time being, it is, in fact, a nine wood. Why did I choose the nine wood? Well, the first reason being, with 24 degrees aloft, it does pop it up extremely high. And yes, that could be a potential negative if we've got a lot of wind blowing up there. But there's a lot of positives that this loft offers. And one of them is to play from a lie like we've just found ourselves in and therefore the versatility this club offers. Because we're in the rough, and if things go according to plan, this loft will pick this up no problem whatsoever. Oh my word, I mean, it's just crazy high ball flight. Again, we're down that left-hand side. This swing is taking me one minute left, one minute right. But the ball flight is what we really wanted to see from that kind of lie. And as you can see, it goes, like I said, into orbit. So the first thing it offers is far more versatility than I think perhaps other clubs that I've already looked at perhaps offer. For DHY, yes, it's okay, but that loft is starting to straighten up a little bit. The three hybrid, same difference. This just looks like you've got a nine iron in your hand with the amount of loft you've got on it. It seems so much uh, provided at address. It just oozes confidence. And then you've got the mass of the club head, the shorter shaft, that shorter swing seems to give you that greater confidence and control. And it doesn't get much versatile when you can use the same club from tee to green. We've hit a tee shot, we've hit one out of the, uh, the rough, and we're now gonna play it round the green. Roll out ball, roll out. It's a standard par with a nine wood. Right, so this is that time when you get involved in the comments because uh, what I wanna know, have you found yourself in a similar situation to what I've got right now? Not necessarily carrying 200 yards, it could be something that's relevant to you, your swing speed and obviously distances carried in your bag. The point is, are you really sure how far each of your club travels and have you got too many in the bag that are perhaps 
carrying exactly the same distance. Now the club I have in hand is actually from TaylorMade. It's a, the Stealth 9 wood. I did do a full review on it. We called it DJ Secret Weapon because Dustin Johnson in fact has this in the bag. I don't think on every round he plays, but certainly on occasions he'll put both a 7 wood and a 9 wood in the bag. I'm not going to do both. But what I will say is it performs incredibly well and uh, I can't compare it to any other nine woods that are out there because quite frankly, this is the only one I've ever hit. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Now it's worth pointing out, there is nothing to say there is anything wrong with the other clubs that we've mentioned. In fact, they all perform incredibly well. The thing and the reason why I've chosen the nine wood is because of how it personally suits my game and fits into that kind of distance that I'm looking to carry. So if you go back to the dry ball data, what you'll see is that 196 is at an average carry distance. You'll see a launch angle, which is incredibly steep, as is the descent angle. You'll also see a spin number that is relatively high for what you're trying to achieve. And for me, what I'm trying to achieve is playing into long par threes or whether I'm playing into a, a second shot into a par five or indeed I'm playing off of a tight par four. And all the numbers that uh, put together, if you like, those elements of data all suit a requirement that I have. But that's not to say it will be the same for you. And you might want other things from your clubs that carry a distance of, like I said, 200 yards. But I've got to say, I love the fact that this thing travels so high, but also fires out there so well. That's just incredible. We've played there off the turf, no tee, down the middle of the fairway. We're playing a par five right now off the tee. And there's no reason, again, I say a lot to Hannah off camera and then feel I re should repeat it back on camera. And I just said to Hannah, this club is just so good for so many different situations, even playing a par five off the tee. Why not? It's a safe way of making sure that you get that ball in play and you're scoring. You're a couple of hundred yards down the, the, the line. We'll perhaps pop another one in and see how it plays, but another 200 yards and we're flicking a wedge in. That seems a safe way to try and at least make par. Well, I think we've got to see that as a challenge and see what we can do. We've, uh, we've, it was 500 yards. We're playing slightly into the breeze, but let's see what we can do with how far we leave our, ourselves with a third shot. By playing two nine woods. Absolutely ripped that. That's got to be within sort of uh, eight or nine iron distance, I would imagine, but couldn't have hit it any better. The other thing I will say, just that came to mind when I hit that, the other thing about the nine woods, you can play it in a number of different ways. I've really tried to sort of hit that hard. Distance was what I was really trying to get there. And you can probably hear it from the audio. It really cracked and fired out there. But you can also float one a little higher and take a little bit off. And it's quite easy to do when you've got a shorter shaft, a bit more control about the club. 96 in and works out sort of spot on with what we've just said. 500 yard par five. Probably play that second shot a bit longer than the first in actual fact. But certainly 200 yards each as a minimum to cover 400 yards. Leave us 96 in. The shortest club I've got in the bag at the moment, we're doing a bit of other testing is, uh, well, I'm afraid it's an eight iron. So we're going to try and see what we can do with an eight iron. Don't mess this up and two good nine woods. Oh, that looks really good. You know, has it got the legs? Kick on a bit, kick on a bit. Do you know what? That's not too bad. And it's a fairly, I wouldn't say easy, but a straightforward two puts there. We walk off with a par. And it was all about having so much control in that nine wood, in my opinion. Wow. Thank God for the mess putter. We may par. Right, we're going to finish the video right here and I'm going to finish off with a shot which is always a bit uh, dangerous really, you get greedy and the last shot of the day messes up. But we're going to stay positive because I have that much confidence in this nine wood, we shall see. But the summary is quite simply, this video like I said was about seven wood or nine wood, it's about much more than that. It's about making sure that whatever clubs are in your bag, 
that they cover a yardage and they're not all covering the same yardage and particularly at the top end of the bag I think that's a real hard thing not to be doing but uh, as it happens I'll be dropping a couple of clubs at least and the nine wood will be going into the bag right last shot of the day don't mess it up and oh thank god for that same thing as we've hit all day I should let the stay out of the way for shot tracer but same thing as we've seen all day the ball flight is ridiculously high it's the only one thing to consider on a particularly windy day if you play in links conditions that kind of golf then maybe the nine wood is not for you but the type of thing i want from this golf club it really does tick every box and like i said i've not got any information to pass on to you in terms of comparisons to other models because i've only ever tried the tailor-made stealth but this thing is an absolute weapon i understand why dj's got one in the bag and i think it's safe to say that'll be in mine right now same old thing this is my sort of findings of playing a nine wood lots of you out there will have your own opinions and they perhaps differ from mine so make sure you stick them in the comment section below and as i always say help your fellow golfers make some informed decisions and that's it for me we just about got done the rain was pouring here this morning we had a nice finish off here at carden park i'm done and we'll see you all soon